Nation TV. My name is Rusty G. And I'm Alan. Episode 26. Getting a little bit older, a little bit wiser, maybe a little bit slower. A little bit grayer. Uh, a little bit <laughs> well, a little less for me. I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start it all over again. <laughs> Rusty has a chin. <laughs> it, I know it, it's actually there. But anyway, we got a lot of topics we wanted to hit this week. A lot of different things have happened over the last two weeks. Uh, even an episode that we recorded last week that may air never. I don't know because we had a camera glitch that... I couldn't get fixed. This is really 26 <laughs> XP. Exactly. So anyway, the first topic we want to hit about was the biggest thing. Both of us actually are kind of uh, touched by this, I would say, because we both use this. Touched, yeah. we're grabbed. <laughs> this is on the edge of molestation <laughs> of what they're doing to us. Yeah. So we. I, how long have you been a Oh, uh, my, well, me since they were singular right uh southwestern bell i think there was a bell south mobility i just now thought about that there yeah bell south mobility but my family was southwestern bell my first cell phone was on a southwestern bell yeah moniker and then just my family's been with at&t since ages ago yeah like alexander Grant bell or whatever <laughs> So anyway, yeah, the big news this past week was AT&T has hiked the prices on all their data as far as smartphones and tablets and, you know, the USB stuff. Hey, let's cut the data. A couple of years later, while everybody's kind of like, okay, we're used to it, let's raise the data. <laughs> Why not, AT&T? Why not? Yeah, so they've added on $5 to each one of their uh, packages, but they've added in an extra one, I think is what they've done. Uh, previously, it was 200 megabytes. Who the hell was using 200 megabytes for $15? <laughs> or for $10 more, you could go to 4 gigabytes. Holy crap! Are you kidding? Wait, wait, let me read this. 2 gigabytes for 25. Two, I'm two sorry. Gigs, yeah. yeah. Uh, 2 gigs. And then 45 was 4. There was a big gap in there. Why not pay the extra? I think you're on the 25. Yeah, I've got two gigs. Yeah, I've got two gigs. But that big, huge gap right there, over four, t more than four times? Yeah. You know, that's just ridiculous not to pay the extra 10 bucks and get that. But now the new price, what we've got is we've got $20 for 300 megabytes, $30 for three gigs, mm -hmm. and 50 for five. So not too it's bad. Not, it's not that bad, really. Yeah, it, it's not like they came in and reached in and grabbed and then took off and then didn't leave us with anything, but... But the reason that we're getting charged this is now starting to come out. Yeah. And that's what we're talking about here. Yeah. Uh, you, you sent me this email earlier today, actually, and we, we kind of went back and forth on this. But can you kind of give us a little bit of a rundown as to the reason why this is happening? Well, as you may know, if you follow us, or hopefully not just us because you won't know anything, everybody else... <laughs> AT&T was in the market for T-Mobile. It was pretty much a done deal. Yeah, we talked about this last year in uh, one of our previous episodes. So AT&T drove by, saw the cute girl in the pink dress. She bent over to pick up a, some change, and they were like, we got to have that sold. <laughs> so well, $39 million. $39 million. Yeah. Let us have it. AT&T, yeah. AT&T. AT. Yeah, 39 billion, I think. Sorry, 39 billion. Yeah, I got my 30, 39 billion. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's a ridiculous number. Yeah. So, okay. Well, after that, you know, Sprint kind of was like, rrr, 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 and Verizon was like, rrr, 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 and FCC was like, oh. oh. So, <laughs> after all of that, that's what I heard in my head on the then, voices. Then November rolled around. November rolled around, and all of a sudden, hey, acquisition's not going through. Yep. So, they got the girl in the hotel room, and sure enough, she was a hooker, and they couldn't afford it. But they still had to pay her, too. That was the good part. <laughs> they six billion dollars in cash. Yeah, that's that's just great. for her time. <laughs> so okay, it happens, you know. Yeah, this stuff happens. Well, so that was in November. Yeah. So now it's almost February, right? And we're starting to get this. Yeah. And. And there's so much going on that we don't keep up with what's happening with AT. You know, all yeah, you're what's, not what's happening is like in, yeah. you know, behind closed doors and things like that. So, right. okay, you know, I look at it and being that I only have two gigs, I mean, I'm under Wi Fi almost everywhere I go, so I've never went over. Right. But, you know, $30 for three gigs, that's, that's not a bad price. 50 for five, that's not a bad price either. By the way, I paid 30 for unlimited. Yeah. <laughs> 
Because I have the I had the original iPhone, but just saying. Either way, he's the grandfather. <laughs> <laughs> so that's cool. You know, these prices are aren't really that bad. Tethering, that's a whole other rant I can get I, on. I will say this time though, on the fifty, mm -hmm. they're actually attaching tethering to it. So if you pay fifty dollars, tethering is included. I think the thirty dollar price and the fifty dollar other. Uh, the top two tiers yeah. include tethering with it, which is nice this time, so that we're not getting screwed, you know, them telling us. But with my wife, I don't pay anything, which we'll get to that <laughs> a little bit later in the episode. But okay, so this article comes out, I saw today on uh, 9, nine, to, five nine Mac. to 5 Mac, so call them I read a lot, is that now it's starting to come out that the reason why we're getting these price hikes is because of the money that they lost trying to act, um, acquire T-Mobile. That's just dirty. They're trying to make up their losses, is, is what they're doing. And it's and it's kind of like what they did back in the 80s. I don't mm -hmm. know if, you, if any of you know the history of AT&T, but they, they added on this nice little tax. I don't even remember what it was. It was like some random tax they added to yeah. everybody. And it was real small. It was like a nickel to 15 cents, something like that. But when you do that times the 80 million subscribers or whatever it was back in the 80s, yeah. that's a lot of money that's handed over easily and nobody even, there was no balance to check, nobody was, nobody questioned it because they thought it was part of the phone service. They're like, oh, I gotta pay this. Yeah, I mean, that was back when you really didn't, you didn't know, you know, it's like you cell got the bills. Phones, yeah, yeah, cell phones were starting to first come out and get to where they were less expensive. Mm -hmm. You know, it was, it was the 80s. Nobody really knew what was going on. The internet was A just, lot of people were making money too. Oh the yeah, economy was hand really, over fist, yeah. yeah. So basically he's doing the same thing now and he's like well i'm just going to add on just a little bit and yeah it's only five bucks but take five bucks times the 80 million subscribers that's a lot of money and now it's 2012 bank of america <laughs> verizon you gotta you gotta learn from the past here if you yeah. like any kind of price up for anybody it's gonna get blown up so yeah i'm, I'm hoping that this does get blown up just because uh, the history of AT&T and how that whole thing, and they're trying to become a monopoly again, yeah. uh, which in that 9 to 5 Mac article, I didn't even know this, it says, since then, this is talking about back in the 80s, uh, since then the company has been slowly reassembled, six of the seven baby bells that was broken down into, mm -hmm. merged into two single companies. Get this, AT&T, yep. which is the AT&T we know now, which is Ameritech, Bell South, Pacific Telus, and Southwestern Bell mm -hmm. and Verizon. I did not know that. Oh wow! I did not know that the two companies were. You know, yeah. I thought Verizon just came out of the nor'easter area yeah. and just kind of, you know, started their own thing. I didn't realize that. So cool little fact. But anyway, uh, speaking of things that we're gonna kind of want to fight, um, this was in the last recorded episode, but we're gonna have to redo it again. Uh, Sopa and Pipa. If you have no idea what this is. Yeah, pretty much. We, we, even, we even went on strike. My website went on strike. Um, we went down. Yeah, we went down. I mean, everybody went dark. So if you can imagine black right here as I keep talking. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much what happened. The entire, not the entire internet, but a good portion of it. Yeah. Wikipedia, Two Cows, our website, my other sister website with the other show. Enough for people to notice. I had, you know, teenage kids going, why is Wikipedia? I'm doing a report. First of all, I have a question for you. Why are you using Wikipedia for a report? Because <laughs> we're the ones that did it. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, there were, I mean, people were asking about it, and I was trying to explain to them nicely. I wasn't trying to be the douchebag that I normally am, <laughs> except for one of them did turn douchebaggery, but that's fine, neither, neither here nor there. But yeah, SOPA, which is Stop Online Piracy Act, and PIPA, which is Protect IP Act, uh, basically, Hollywood wants to take over the internet. They basically want to be able to go, hey, I think you're putting out pirated copies of my movie or my CD or my record label or whatever. Mm -hmm. I want to shut you down. And they can instantly with no questions asked within like 24 hours. And the government just goes, okay, we shut you down. Problem. There's no trial. There's no questions. There's no nothing. There's, no, just, there's no due process. Exactly. They they basically just go to this website and say we think da 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 da, da and they shut you down. That sucks. Could you imagine you know going to your favorite website and then you can't get to it because you know someone said that they thought that they were stealing or they were pirating or whatever. Mm -hmm. Not that it couldn't be reproduced because we know about pirate bait going down and coming back and going <laughs> and coming back. But either way, 
Uh, I mean, Supernova, you remember Supernova? Went down, came back, all those, you know, mm -hmm. all those torrent websites. But, you know, the, the whole thing is Hollywood wants control of everything, and they want to be able to go, stop it, stop it now. Yeah. Well, you can't. I mean, seriously, guys, come on. It's just really, really, really a bad idea. So uh, this week, actually, Congress met, and I think 13 of the so many senators or whatever actually reversed their uh, what they wanted. Yeah. So, yeah, it was a pretty big thing. It got a lot of people thinking about what was going on, you know, so. Again, Bank of America, Verizon. <laughs> Do you mess with us these days? Yeah. I'm saying us like we're yeah. really going to do But the days. power of Twitter, Facebook, you know, your social media networks and things like that, the power of people has gotten almost to V for Vendetta levels. Yeah. If you've ever seen that movie. We had our announcements mask. <laughs> yeah, I, I need to order some for us. But yeah, I, I'd love to join that group just because, uh, you know, I support them, you know, keeping everything, you know, open and basically everybody, you know, all those people behind closed doors saying, well, this is what's going to happen, but we have no control. I'm sorry. It's a free and open internet, and it should stay that way. So yeah. that's that's my little thing on that. So it should always stay that way, just saying, which also segues into this, jailbreaking, which is another thing that, as of this recording, is still legal, but uh, it seems, I don't know if it's Apple that's behind it, but I would highly... Uh, recommend that it is Apple behind it. Oh yeah, definitely. Even though they're hiring jailbreakers. Oh jeez. I mean, your that new iPhone 4s. We had everything that's on it except for the eight megapixel camera. Yeah. Siri. We had Siri. Yeah. We had all the uh, the drop down notifications. Of course, that comes with iOS five anyway. But yeah, some of that stuff. That's, yeah, yeah. Even that, even with iOS five, we yeah. had that stuff already before. Right. On iPhone three G. Yeah, I remember having Siri around, you know, I didn't play with it that much because I've, I've never used the digital assistant that much, but yeah. still a good idea. Even to the point the Big Bang Theory, get this, if you love, I know that you guys got to watch Big Bang Theory. Even Big Bang Theory spent a good 25 minutes of their show last night doing Siri jokes, which was great. That's pretty much free advertising. Oh yeah, so I mean, but the whole idea is jailbreaking right now is about to be expired as far as the law. It's actually fixed to come up, I don't know if it's February or March, but it's fairly soon. And the law that they had previous that was, yeah, it's legal, mm -hmm. is fixed to expire, and so we're trying to fight for it. So there's a website, I think it's called Jailbreaking Is Not a Crime, or Jailbreaking Is Not Illegal.com. I'll put it up right here. Um, but go check out the website, sign up, petition, do whatever you can. We, we've got to keep this stuff free and open, guys. Even though I just listened to the audiobook of the biography of Steve Jobs, mm -hmm. and he, even back when the Macintosh was being built, you know, I don't want any buttons, I don't want people being able to pry into, he's kept that mantra throughout his entire, you know, thing. And so the iPhone's yeah. that way. And, it, you know, when people started cracking up the iPhone the first time, he was like, we got to change the screws so they can't get into them. I'm sorry, once you build a product and you put it out there, it's mine. I yeah. bought it, I paid for it, exactly. that's, that's my thing, so I don't know, but yeah, so jailbreaking, make sure you, if, if you know anything about jailbreaking, we want to keep it legal, we want to keep it on our devices, those cool things that we have, those cool apps that we have, your MyY, like he was talking about earlier, being mm -hmm. able to, I think, uh, that's the hotspot, it yeah. also creates the hotspot for you, so you don't have to have the specific app on your because uh, I have the one that you have to have the app on the phone and the laptop. You, you no, have, I just have the one that's just on my phone. I can turn my phone on and then yeah. anybody that's in my radius yeah. can have a... And you can set up passwords and things like yeah, that. Have have that yeah, yeah. So, but not to downmouth Apple all the time. Uh, they did just get through with their fourth quarter earnings call mm -hmm. for 2011. Uh, and because of the massive amounts of money that they are hoarding, it's like close to a hundred billion dollars or something like that. Yeah. Total, they have more money than the freaking Exxon. They're still the number one company. It's crazy because everybody's buying. Well, they're sending out free free nanos if you, if you want to trade in your old nano. Uh, I even traded in my old iPhone. Um, I didn't really, I shouldn't say trade it in. Uh, my speakers went out, I took it back in. I was like, look, I've restored it, I've tried, it doesn't work. I don't know what's going on. So they gave me a brand new phone. So I have a brand new watch and a brand new phone. 
So as far as customer service is concerned, great. But the whole background of, you know, we can't open our phones and do whatever, screw you guys. But on top of that though, this is kind of cool. Any of those Apple employees that work there, they're fixing to get a huge, yes. huge discount. We ain't gonna get part-time jobs. I think so. Even though Apple probably trolls the internet with like keywords of Apple and then sees one of us. <laughs> well, the, the thing was, I even read the uh, rules as to that discount. You have to be with the company with at least 90 days. So we're talking three months. I knew that. And that discount program doesn't start until June. So we go back three months, we got time to get a job. Yeah, because that last month, you don't even have to work that hard, you know, just kind of push shelves and... <laughs> so what I'm going to recommend to you is if you'd like to get a discount of up to $500 off of some sort of Apple product, uh, excluding, I think, the Mac Mini because it's already like $599, which is yeah. cheap to them, um, and obviously their iPods and things like that, but their MacBooks, their Mac Pros, their all that Mac stuff on the high-end stuff, they'll, you know, up to $500. So if you want to go get a job at Apple right now, it might be a good time. Yeah. So anyway, uh, on the flip side of things, Apple's doing great. Everybody else? Not so much. No, uh, BlackBerry, which we saw this coming a long time ago. Their CEO has stepped down. Yeah. Um, the new guy seems to think that uh, he's going to be able to take care of things, but you never know. I think that would be cutting a lot. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Uh, their email, their BBLs, uh, <laughs> everything. Just yeah, cut it. Yeah. Also, uh, Yahoo's longtime CEO, whatever his name is, I can't even remember his name. Something Ying or Yang, I, and I don't mean to be. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> exactly. But it's it's, Yahoo. Yeah, the guy. I think that's even better. Yeah, uh, but he's been there for you know a long time. And the guy who was in Apple's board of directors before who went over to HP and mm -hmm. worked with the Palm Division or whatever, is stepping out. He's gone. You know, he's up and out of here. I mean, I, I, I don't know. It was last year. HP just got Meg Whitman from eBay. So yep. that was a big change up. I mean, there's a lot of big names being moved around, shuffled around, leaving. Maybe going to do startups. Maybe, you know. Yeah, we'll see a lot of, uh, probably a lot of new startups going to be happening soon. Which it, they are happening if you're not paying attention. Yeah, there's a lot of those things getting started, and a lot of people are getting you know weary of where they're at, and they're kind of questioning what's going to happen, you know, because 2012 may be no longer BlackBerry. You know, a yeah. lot of people are jumping ship for BlackBerry, and even with the fourth quarter sales of Apple, they were saying they're one of the largest mobile phone you know providers as far as a manufacturer of a mobile phone. So, mm -hmm. 2012 may be the last year for BlackBerry. Uh, 2012 may be the last year for the HP touchpad because uh, they just got through saying that they're fixing to open source their software yeah. for the web OS so that people can start developing for it trying to get buzz back for the web OS so that could be you know something but speaking of all of that going on uh, my hometown is actually fixing to do a startup so speaking of startups the gigcity.com because they have gigabit I think it's gigabit either, or gigabit fiber. They have fiber internet. Yeah, I know. Chattanooga. <laughs> Chattanooga, <laughs> Kansas City. That's it in the yeah. US. Yeah, exactly. Google's paying for the one in Kansas City. Chattanooga said, well, that government, we're going to build it on our own. So we're doing it. So yeah, they've got fiber to the door. It's it's The high end is $300 uh, for, I forget what the full on connection is and all the speeds and everything, but it's $300 a month. Uh, I don't know what it is in Kansas City, Google City, Kansas, as it were, but I was reading an article earlier that said like Seoul, Japan, or something like that. They're paying like thirty-nine dollars for that speed. We're fucking paying three, and I'm sorry, I don't normally do that on this show, but it just kind of ticks me off. Uh, three hundred dollars, you know, in Chattanooga for fiber, but hey, it's fiber. So, uh, besides the political side of that, cool that Chattanooga is the city right now that is doing this, but okay. what they're doing is they, they're they calling all geeks, as it were, and they're gonna have the gig tank, and it's basically, and I'm gonna read this kind of word for word, this is a chance to pioneer the future of the internet when bandwidth is no longer a barrier. This also gives you and your company a significant technological head start in what is otherwise a crowded startup landscape. 
And if that weren't enough, there's a $100,000 prize for the biggest gigabit business to come out to Gig Tank. You and your team will have several opportunities to work with mentors and pitch your idea to VCs and angels from around the country. So that's why you want to be cool. There. You could have like some idea, then all of a sudden you're talking to Kevin Rose. Yeah, because Kevin Rose has got his own VC. Uh, I, I don't know what exactly the name of it is, but I mean, you you could be yeah. talking to Kevin Rose the next next time you get done. So it's a 14 week program. Um, it looks like it's going to be sectioned off in sections of 30 days. Mm -hmm. It starts off with the Gig Tank Boot Camp. And like I said, $100,000 in prizes. Uh, they're going to give you $15,000, I believe, believe, to kind of get you started. So I, I don't know if that's like a, if you get selected, because they have an application process, interview process, all that before you. You don't just go and do. Yeah. You have to have an idea. You have to have some sort of business. Sure, you have to own the idea. You have the paperwork to own the idea. You yeah. need to get a patent, a patent lawyer. Yeah. There's a lot of steps to starting up a business. So I, I think they're going to start you off with fifteen thousand dollars, so that you can kind of lodge there in the area for that time being. Mm -hmm. uh, it says that there has to be one member of the team that stays there the entire time. So if you've got some time this summer, uh, it looks like they're going to be starting up. I think it's in March for students. And then May, uh, no, 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 I take that back. June 11th through August 16th for students, mm -hmm. and then for entrepreneurs who are fresh out of college or May whatever. May 14th through August 16th. Yep. But the deadline for both is March 1st. Yes. So make sure you go to the website. It's thegigcity.com slash gig tank. It should automatically redirect you there based upon the gigcity.com. Sign up, apply uh, with your idea, your business thoughts, whatever it is. Check it out. You could be the next big thing. You know, you yeah. could be the next Facebook or the next Apple or whatever. Not that those, you know, are the people to go after, but you could be the next big business. So that's really cool. And I'm kind of glad that it came out of my hometown. I was actually listening to one of my Revision 3 shows, mm -hmm. watching Techzilla, and uh, they talked about it, and I was fairly excited. So if you've got enough business plan, go check it out at thegigcity.com. Coming up, though, we've got Mobile World Congress. We talked about Get your passports year. ready. Exactly. Going all the way out to, get this, Barcelona. Barcelona World, uh, that, I should say Barcelona we, World. We, we may have somebody Skype. Yeah, exactly. Barcelona, Spain. Uh, it is the Mobile World Congress by Nokia. It's been there for years. Um, it's starting February 27th. It's going through till March the 1st. So another real soon, pay attention if you want to go. I'm sure they've already got the tickets sold and everything, and it's probably like $100,000 to go because it's a big event. Yeah. So, um, but that's coming up. It's the Nokia thing. I'm sure they've got more phones to announce, which, by the way, AT&T, though, is getting Nokia's uh, flagship phone coming on March the 17th, I want to say, March the 18th, the Lumia 900, which we've actually shown a video of before when it was being pre-made, yeah. for $100. $100. On contract, obviously, for two years. So we may work. We may find out if we can get a deal going and see if we can't get one for a hundred bucks. Go find one. Something. We'll extend your contract or mine. I don't care. Whatever. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's coming. It's a Windows mobile phone, so we'll check it out. But yeah, make sure you keep your eyes open for that. Anything else we got for this week? Anything we missed? Uh, Facebook IPO. Oh, that's right. So real quick, that hit news today. Mm -hmm. Next week. So we got nothing on that. I mean, <laughs> just like LinkedIn and every other like IPO that a new IPO that's kind of starting up. You know, you just gotta wait. Um, I haven't been given a, a cost on the like, expectation of what the first you know what it's going to be at. I'm sure it's going to be just like LinkedIn. Hey, it's going to be thirty bucks. I got thirty bucks. Ding, seventy five, eighty five, <laughs> ninety five, two hundred twenty five, three hundred forty five. Right. The only thing we know, the only thing we we kind of know is that it should be next Wednesday. Yeah. Uh, which, I don't know, next Wednesday's date, uh, which is actually February the 1st. No wonder why they didn't want to do it next week. Uh, but it should be next Wednesday, so by the time you're watching this, uh, keep your eyes and ears peeled. Check them out. I don't know if it, it probably won't be on Facebook.com, but look up your financial places. Find your financial uh, advisor. Uh, see if it's a good thing to jump in on. It may be one of those things, like you said, you know, 95, 105, 125, and then by the end of the day, it drops back down to like 50. <laughs> yeah, maybe you make a quick buck. Yeah, I mean, we're looking at LinkedIn right now. Uh, LinkedIn closed in today at 76.64.
So, I mean, you know, it could be one of those things where it inflates for the first day and then yeah, it kind of just bubbles out. So. It fluctuates. Exactly. So, I mean, LinkedIn's doing good. I mean, I don't use them as much as I do Facebook and Twitter mm -hmm. or Google Plus for that matter. I even use Google Plus more than I do LinkedIn, and I really don't use Google Plus that much. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, that is the end of this episode this week. Make sure you follow us online. We've got four different places. Facebook.com slash TV. TextNation.tv YouTube.com slash TextNationTV Twitter. And if you Twitter, at TextNationTV. Exactly, because he does a Twitter and he's never going to jump on it for any reason. You couldn't pay him enough money. He's already got enough as it is. Twitter can pay me enough money. <laughs> I may have to sign you up on a co-tweet. Co-tweet just signed a new deal. They've got a whole little... Yeah. It basically allows two people or three people or four people to control one account. Well, I look at ours. Yeah, there you go. But anyway, make sure you follow us online, all of those websites, and we'll see you again for episode number 27. AT&T. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, obviously, AT&T is who we're talking about. The big news this past week was the price hike. Yes. Uh, it looks like they added on $5 to everybody's bill, some, somewhere along that lines. Mm -hmm. uh, and apparently, I forgot to turn off my other cell phone. We've so. got a caller. We'll take that later. But anyway, I'm going to try to talk over that. And so, or, wait, let's, yeah, there it goes. All right, so anyway, <laughs> as he goes off camera to get that, uh, I don't even know. But anyway, uh, yeah, so it was $5 a month. Let's just restart. <laughs> Where is it? Oh, there it is. I cannot believe. I brought this because I was going to compare it to yours, but then when I saw the keyboard, I was like, that. I don't even like the keyboard. You use a nicer. Mine, well, I don't have to pay anything for mine. Where, I don't even know where it is. <laughs> you put it in your pocket. Oh.